Hi. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is Saturday. We're having a very happy weekend. Um, my friends, Nello's kids are here. I don't know why I say my friend. <laughs> Nello's kids are here. Well, Adana is here. She's going to bring um, Kobe and Kaito. They are in lesson. And I'm sure that's Cora. Come on, say hi now. Hi. Hi. So, yeah, um, you guys, this is the weekend. I'm going to have a fun weekend. Well, I'm hoping to have a fun weekend. But, yeah, let me give you guys an update on my farm. Yeah, you guys know I started a poultry farm, so I got chickens. I got, I was supposed to buy 10 chickens, but when um, the guy that was helping me to get the chickens went to get them, he didn't have up to 10, so he brought just seven. So later on, when he now had more, I now bought an extra five from him, right? So when those five came, they stayed for two days, and then they said that, I don't know if it's the extra five, I don't know which one is that, because they, they all look alike, but... Two of my chickens died. I felt so bad. And then one was really ill. So we bought um, antibiotics. They have antibiotics for chickens. So we bought antibiotics for the chickens. And they've had... We put inside their water. So that one that is... That one that was sick. I don't know if it is dead now or is it still sick. I want to go and check on it now. Anyway, I've heard of chickens dying or chickens having fallen sick and dying. But I didn't know what happened to me. That just has only 12 chickens. Anyway, two died. So now I'm back with... And now I have only 10. Hopefully none of them die again. When I saw the two died and then one was sick, I started feeling really bad for the chicken. I don't know how I'm going to raise livestock because I now feel like I'm attached to the chicken. I told, I told um, Elizabeth and Koda, we're not going to kill those chickens again. I'm going to raise them just for their eggs. I'm not going to kill them again. They were even telling me that I should kill the one that is sick. I said, no, I'm not going to kill it. It's going to recover. So let me go and check on it. Check on them now, see if they've recovered. See my ugu leaves, they are growing. This one is growing tall, as in straight up on its own. But we need to raise that one up. And this other one. This is not just one week. Yeah. Okay, see our snail. It was by mistake that we even discovered snail. You know, yeah, not like by no. mistake, but now we start growing snails inside the holes of all these. Um, what is this? Uh, see this big one. Whoa. Wait, what is this one? This is that. Do they have enough food? Their food has mm. gone now. Mm. They don't have yeah. enough food. Let's put food for them. So we usually just take all these flowers and um, some of the leaves. Okay, so come and show them the eggs. Mm -hmm. These are snail eggs. So they used to hatch. Yes, yeah, see, from this small one. Mm. Look at, there's another smaller one inside. Oh, this one that's giving birth? Yes. Are you serious? See, the smaller one inside. As small as it is. I have another smaller one coming okay. up. So it's small, small snails like this that used to give birth. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised though. Yeah. Tiny snails. Everybody, come and see chicken. Hi. Hi. You gotta call your friends to come and see chicken. You're welcome. Hey! It's through. Wait, 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 Sick one. No, if it's that the sick one, leave it. Leave the sick one. I'm not sure. How to Google? Hey. How to Google how to identify go, 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 male and female? Come on. I know that this okay, that the one, sick one is still inside. That's the sick one. I should, let me call it only one red. Ayana. So that we know that that's the sick one. Wait. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. 
must watch this one so that this one will not see. <laughs> what a bit holy holy it will not move down. That person rub said we will cover now. You're not rubbing it on the right place. Where should I rub? Rub it near the neck part. Oh, okay, yeah. Because okay, that person you, you you rub it will cover. I'm surprised. Yeah, I can't yeah. be left. You just ate it. Yeah. We are vlogging. Yeah. Tell say hello. Oh, I just give her some time. Yeah. Just say hello. Say hello. You guys, see the mango and the pear that my mom sent to me. I'm so excited. I can't wait to dig in. This mango is going to finish this night. This one will finish tomorrow. <laughs> but this one is going to finish this night. By the time I take and everybody in the house takes, it will finish. This one will finish tomorrow. Well, yeah, pear from our compound in the village. Very big, big pear. Nice, nice, nice. Hi guys, good morning. Today is Monday. This is Monday morning. I dropped my kids at school. I think rain wants to fall. Everywhere, everywhere is looking a little bit gloomy. Anyway, so some people have noticed that you know, I lost a bit of weight. I say a bit because it's not it's like 7 kg, okay? Is it up to 7 kg? Maybe like 6, about 6 kg. And yeah, people are asking me, what's a weight loss secret? Actually, just one person asked me, Sha. <laughs> Before I do that, people have been asking me too. Anyway, so somebody asked me and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to make a whole video talking about what I have been doing. But my number one secret, it's not really a secret, but... I just want to put it out there. The thing is, I reduce stress in my life. That's part of why I started going back to farming, kind of. I reduced, I reduced stress in my life. I started sleeping more. I started doing activities that were not really work. Um, yeah, even though I've been vlogging and you know putting out video here and there, I haven't been as consistent as I used to be. That's because I had to just choose my life first, okay? <laughs> Some people, you know one thing, let me put out something yesterday and I was like, see, eh, a lot of people judge content creators not knowing what we go through to actually put out content. Like, it's a lot. So when you see your favorite content creator or someone you sub you're subscribed to putting out content and you're just there judging, you know, pointing out mistakes, like somebody will put out a video that is impactful or helpful, rather than point out how helpful and impactful the video is, you point out you know, the mistakes the person made in the video and stuff like that. It's actually demoralizing, you know, it's, it's quite sad. 
when we come across such comments. I'm not, I don't really face it personally, but I've seen it on, you know, Nello's channel or other people's channels as well. Like, it's, it's actually, it's better for you to keep quiet. It's better for you to say that. It's better for you not to just make any comments. Just watch it and walk and pass. If I don't even need to watch it, say, better for you to just walk and pass than for you to watch it and leave such a comment because it's demoralizing. But anyway, that one doesn't apply to me. For me, my own was just basically um, eliminating stress from my life. Um, yeah, so because I stopped, you know, stressing out, I, I, I reduced the stress I was going through, I was able to also do intermittent fasting, okay? So, personally, I don't know if, if you guys know me, personally, <laughs> if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I'm not someone that, uh, how do I put it now? When I'm, when I'm stressed, I use food to cope. When I'm sick, I use food to cope. When I'm pregnant, I use food to cope. I'm not one of those people that will say, oh, I'm so stressed that I couldn't eat, or oh, pregnancy, I couldn't eat. Mm -mm. I'm opposite, <laughs> you know, so the only way I can actually, you know, do intermittent fasting without losing my mind is by reducing stress. So when I'm intermittent, when I'm doing intermittent fasting, I'm doing very low uh, mental work, you know, so things like just watching a series, lying down, pressing phone, I'm not trying to create content, I'm not trying to, you know, do anything stressful, mentally draining, I'm not even trying to read a book or anything, I just want to sleep and watch series and just relax, so that is what I have been doing and that's why I've been able to lose a little bit of weight, but I'm still going on, I want to now go into full-blown keto, which I am starting today, today is Monday, so I'm starting today. I know I keep saying that, or I said initially that I wasn't going to carry you guys along for any weight loss thing, but I think I should. If I'm showing you guys my life, I think I should, so that I can encourage one or two people out there, okay? So I, I always say, that me, I know that part of my problem is stress. The more stressed out I am, the bigger I get. I was one of those people that used to go to school, write the exam, and come back fat. So when my mates are coming back, you know, looking, <laughs> looking dry, me, I used to go to school and come back looking fresher fresher in quotes you know that fatness is freshness in nigeria anyway yeah so that's just it basically that's what i wanted to just tell you guys while i end this video um yeah so my farm is doing well now the chickens are now okay so i'm back to 10 even though the initial plan was to have 10 chickens but i increased it to 12 and now two have died and i'm back to 10 chickens but the 10 are doing well now um yeah so for food i give them um, millet and stuff like that. I even bought some food. I don't know what that thing is, but I think that they, they mixed a little bit. I think they mixed different things like grains and stuff. So I bought that, but I also give them millet and then scraps from my kitchen. So my chickens are, going, are doing good. They also eat some things from the farm. Like we, we let them loose in the farm, like you guys saw. So whenever we let them loose in the farm, they eat worms and insects and some vegetables. Uh, I try to remove them from my ugu and my grain, but they eat weed, they eat water leaf, I don't mind the water leaf. They eat the flower of water leaf. Anyway, that's it. So, uh, let me know if you guys are interested in knowing how I'm losing weight. But I feel like once I just start talking about it now, you people will just jinx it. All those bad belly people that don't want me to be hotter than I am already. <laughs> <laughs> they will just jinx it, but my God is going to defeat them. Okay, those of us that are weight loss, those of us that want to go, those of us that want to lose weight this year, I'm going to encourage you guys. Okay, I'm not getting pregnant because the last time I did this, I got pregnant. It's not gonna happen again. I'm done. I'm finished. I'm done. 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 <laughs> Yeah, that's it guys. I have a lot planned today, but now rain wants to fall and the weather is looking gloomy and if you guys don't know, I film mostly with natural light. So whenever rain wants to fall, minus even the light part, whenever rain is falling, it affects the audio as well. So whenever rain wants to fall, I don't film. I just go and start editing a video or doing something else. Um, but I need to go out. So let me just go and get ready and go out. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.